Hi and welcome back to a new episode. Today's episode is about using dictionaries for mapping. We're going to create some dictionaries for mapping certain values into a list or to a data frame. The idea is first to use some curly brackets like this one, these braces, to create or to initialize a dictionary. My dictionary's name is going to be my diction and then I'm going to start adding values and keys as we can see here in this picture this image shows us that we have some keys and then we map these keys into certain values for example we have letter a corresponding to a value alpha this is what we're going to do we will have a list of different values and we want to convert them to other ones in this case our first values are the keys and then we want to convert them back to other values why why we're going to use this the first is for encoding variables for example sex if we have male and female, we're going to convert male to zero and female to one, for instance. Other example could be we have more than two categories. Civil status is one of these variables. We will have single, married, divorced, widow, or more. And then we can convert or pass all that information to a different structure called values in our case. This is what we're going to check. And then here, for example, we have somebody's name is Carl. Carl is the value and key is the name. The same will have his last name is the key and Jones is the value. So as you can see, we can add more than two values to one single key. This is when we start from zero. There are more ways, as we will see, to create a dictionary. We will have first one key value tuple and then last name in Jones as our second input and third two different phone numbers with that key phone and then we print it as we can see here you can see here name corresponding to car last name to jones phones two different names let's see more here how to access to this information we can print my diction directly or we can extract this tuple let's see my diction items will give us this um, couple of elements together then we're gonna store them in keys and value respectfully. This this could be something different. You can call it, for example, 11, and it's not going to be any problem. And you can call keys. As you can see, it's just a name for, for what my diction item is giving me back. As you can see here, no problem. Okay, this is just some temporary variables for using for this tuple that my diction items will give me back. Remember, here my diction is my dictionary's name, and item is the function to give me that couple of elements and we use a for for retrieving all the information from my dictionary and i'm gonna erase this as you can see just for teaching purposes it's way better to say it this way okay that's what's creating a dictionary from zero now from a list as you can see here i, I have created two lists the first one has different string hello you how is it going raul valerio 2020 and so on and here i have create a list using a function or the object range. What is this going to create? This is going to create element 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So if you don't understand exactly the function, the, the object or function range, you can check in my list of videos and you can find the information about list and about range too. How to create and how to manipulate them. But here we're going to save or create this while list like this, we will have seven different elements, the same number of elements we have in X. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then I'm gonna print them. As you can see here, when I print them, I have two different lists. This list consisting of a string, and then this list consisting of integers. And then check here. This is like creating a dictionary from zero, but using list. Here, I'm going to create my dictionary. How do you know that is, this is a dictionary? Because these curly brackets or braces are the symbol or the specification for creating a dictionary. Here, I'm going to say, okay, val. What is val? Okay, val is everything that is in X. Everything that is X, what is going to be val? So, as you remember, we had key value. Ah, okay. So, ev everything that is in X it's going to be my key. That means hello is going to be my key. 
And what is going to be my value? The first element in each string, val0. I'm accessing to the first value in val. So it, it comes to hello. What is the first element in hello? H. And so I have this tuple here. Yes, this corresponding hello H. Then the same for you, how is it going, and so on. For example, for example, U, the first letter is Y, how is H, is it going is I, and so on. That is what's that for. We're accessing to the elements in the list and we insert them into our dictionary. This is what it does. Now, let's go to the primary discussion here is mapping. Now we have created some dictionaries. My dig one and my diction. But let's see. Suppose you have a dictionary like this. So you see you can you have three different categories, three different categories for for example studies. You have primary, secondary, and university. So we're gonna use what is called one hot encoding. And so you can see here I'm gonna change my key primary into a zero. I'm gonna map it in secondary to one as well as university to the number two. So instead of using primary, secondary, university, I will translate all this information to numbers representation. As you can see here, I create my dictionary in a different way than using list, yes, but you saw the structure is like this. The key, the value, comma, and then the same pattern, key and value. Okay, here we have three different keys, values, and how to extract this information because this is gonna we're gonna use this. The function get is gonna give me back if I'm telling Python what is my key. So using get is gonna give me my value. As you can see, primary returns zero because that's its value. But as we can see here, there's other way for calling or extracting information from a key. The same way we save it or we store it is the same way we can retrieve back or obtain back the value. My diction, primary, and zero. So let's look and see. Okay, let's go. I'm going to create a long list of different values. My list has primary, university, primary, university, primary, and so on. This could be a data frame too, but I'm going to extract a column from a data frame. Okay, think about this as a column in a data frame. You can practice that with the data frame, but I'm going to show you here with a list. So my list is consistent of different elements. So you can see it's a long list, but I don't want to see primary university, primary university, it's secondary like that, because I'm going to use, for example, a machine learning method that doesn't allow me to use strings. So I have to convert it to numbers. Ah, okay. For instance, decision trees. A random forest. That's the very example. Random forest. It doesn't allow me to use primary, university, primary, secondary, and zone. So we have to convert it or encode it to numbers. Okay. The idea is here. As you saw before, we use this structure, this list structure, and we're going to use my dictionary. Check where is my dictionary. My dictionary is right here. Ah, okay. What am I doing here? X, letter X, is the key. And we're going to extract the value in my diction. What are the values in my diction? It's number zero, number one, and number two. So what is X? Ah, okay. X is going to be all the elements in my list. For instance, primary. So you can see here the first value is primary. Okay, so we're going to call primary in X. And then my diction, primary. Like this, I can show you here. Ah, so it calls my dictionary primary and what it returns as we can see here it returns the value what is the, the value in my dictionary zero ah, okay so that means that the first value in my new list is a zero university x is going to be a university and it's going to come here it's going to say my diction university so it returns what is the 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 value for university number two and it's like that okay what i'm just said is my diction and i said university actually like this and python gives me back number two 
That's what it does. Okay. There's a totally different way for saying for doing this. Yes, because there are different ways to extract the information from dictionary. As you can see, there's another way. I create a new list called my list C, the same like here, but I'm gonna start start it from zero. And look at this four. Is a different way to use all this here. Creating a new list using my four. And what is X is all the values in my list. The same way down here. And then, however, I'm going to use append. What is append in a list? As I mentioned before, I have already created a video about list and different functions we use in list. Okay, it's here. My list dot append. So I'm going to add a new value to my list. What is going to be that new element or new value in my list? So we're going to call my diction in X. What is X? As you saw, is all the values in my list, primary, university, primary, secondary, 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 and so on. Ah, okay. What is the first value for X? Primary. And then we use my dictionary key value link. And we we'll say, ah, okay. The first one is zero. Second value, as we saw, university. My diction university as my key. And then it returns number two. And so on. And we print it here. Okay. An important question is, ah, okay, but somebody did a mistake and wrote university in a different way or he put other category was not listed. Ah, okay. In my dictionary. It was not listed in my dictionary. Okay. Ah, okay. So, for example, we use my list append post PhD. We're going to add this new category to my list, not to the dictionary. Okay, pay attention to this. Here, as you can see, I print, I run this and we have PhD at the end. It's a new category in my variable, my list. However, it's not present in my dictionary. So what is going to do Python? Okay, let's see. The same as we previously previous saw, my diction key, and then we extract the value for primary zero, for secondary one, for university two. However, when it goes to the last element, it says my diction post PhD. Here is ask the question. Okay, give me or send me back what is the response when I ask you post PhD. And then the dictionary tries to find this information. But of course, it's not. It's not present. Oh, I cannot find it. Key error. So what it could be a solution? Of course, adding this element or this relation post, post PhD with a new value, post PhD. 3, for, exa for, for example. However, one solution, if I cannot have access or to manipulate my dictionary, could be to using the function get. And as we previously saw, get is a function that is going to give us back to the values by providing the key. Here, x is the key. So when we call my dictionary, it's going to send us the key value relation in this case we provide the key and it's going to give us back the value and as you can see error here it's a non it's different than when i was accessing my dictionary in this way now get allows me to continue working with my list and if i don't find that relation key value it is listed as non the same way that in my second solution we previously discussed here is the same and as you can see, I change the way to extract my value and just use the function get. And we can see none. After this process, we can clean up our values and changing none for other values or replacing none or eliminating all the non values. This is mapping using dictionaries in Python. Hope you like it and thumbs up.